I want to tell you about a spectacular dining experience. It's Ports of Call Waterfront Dining, award-winning service and cuisine with a view of the dynamic L.A. Harbor from every seat. Enjoy daily sunset specials as well as the South Bay's best champagne brunch. The outdoor harborside patio is a perfect setting for happy hour every weekday from 3 to 8. Ports of Call Waterfront Dining. For reservations and directions, visit portsacalldining.com or call 310-833-3553. Hey everybody, my name is Bill Ward and you're listening to Rock 50. I'm here with my host, Mike Stark. How are you, Mike? You're taking no prisoners today, I can see No, that. I'm not going to take any prisoners. Okay. <laughs> just check it. No, we're just, we're just rocking all the way. Um, uh, I hope everybody out there is in good spirits today and I hope you're doing well. Um, our show is going to switch around today um, in probably just over an hour. Uh, this is the officially the 9-11 show um, we've been playing the 9-11 show since 2001. Um, the, uh, the show uh, will give a, a dedication um, on behalf of Rock 50 uh, to uh, the survivors of the 9-11 attacks, uh, the loved ones, those who died. Um, obviously a terrible day that touched so many lives. And, uh, and uh, so we, we always uh, try to recognize that and um, play a few songs which uh, might be helpful or not, you know, with, for people who are still grieving and still going through the pain of that. Um, also, we've got a real treat for you today in our drum segue. Uh, we're featuring Ian Pace, no less. Ian Pace from Deep Purple fame. And uh, Ian's obviously played extensively with a lot of other bands, but we're going to focus on the Deep Purple years, and uh, so we've got that coming up as well. So, and I'm really looking forward to that set. I, I, I picked the set. I've already listened to it, and it sounds great. <laughs> so anyway, um, so we'll have that for you. He's, he's Ian's such a great drummer, and uh, it'll be a treat. I hope for all of us. Okay, um, ready for the drum segue? All right, uh, today we're featuring um, uh, Ian Pace uh, from Deep Purple fame, one of the greatest hard uh, rock, uh, rock bands of all time and is, one, in my personal opinion, one of the greatest hard rock drummers of all time also. Um, he's incredibly talented and I'm going to read some of his bio and you can just see when I read the bio just how, how much he's interacted with so many other musicians and different types of music as well. Um, we're going to be playing uh, Deep Purple, the, the, his time in Deep Purple today, and uh, we're going to be playing six brilliant songs uh, from Deep Purple. And uh, But before we do, I want to read some of his bio, because it's, it's, it's got a, he's got an incredible bio. Yeah, the last the last two or three months that we've been doing uh, the drum segue, I don't know if we did Neil Peart and, you know... Uh, you know, I mean, Gene Hoglund's probably got an encyclopedia of stuff, but uh, Ian Pace uh, also has multiple, multiple pages of, of work that he's done. And uh, let me just, uh, first of all, for the students that are listening, um, let me go through some of the equipment uh, that, uh, that uh, um, Ian uses. Um, <clears throat> Pearl drum kits uh, as his main performing drums, incorporating Pace cymbals, Remo drum heads, Promark sticks. He uses Ludwig kits uh, during the 70s and the early 80s in remarkable large sizes, 26-inch bass drum, 16-inch uh, tom, 18 and 20 floors, um, and a uh, very nice uh, snare drum, 14 by 6.5 uh, inches, uh, superphonic snare, which was a uh, blueprint for his uh, signature snare from Pearl. In 1982, he switched companies because Ludwig's development stalled and, got, and he got a better deal with Pearl. He also prefers a single bass drum setup, both live and studio. Pearl drums produced his signature snare drum. I don't know if you've ever noticed, I'm sure you have, because everybody else has noticed, but Liam plays, Ian plays the wrong way round. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but he's a lefty, so, you know, he's in, the, so in that, you know, it's... Um, um, I can never figure out how those guys could play drums. You know, we got there's a few lefties actually, and uh, but uh, he can definitely play and um, he's played some remarkable stuff. Let me go. 
I was really interested to uh, talk about... Let me just talk about some of the people he's interacted with. Um, I'll just read some of the notable uh, collaborations. 1973, uh, he was among the English rock musicians invited by Eddie Harris, uh, an American jazz player, to take part in saxophonist's London sessions at Morgan Studios. Uh, Pace played on two songs, he's, he's Island Man, and I've tried everything, along with Jeff Beck, Steve Winwood, Rick Gretsch. Hmm, where do we know those guys from? Uh, the album called EH in the UK, the Eddie Harris London Sessions, produced by Jeffrey Haslam, was released in the year uh, through Atlantic uh, Rec the next year through Atlantic Records. Ian's work with um, Neil Murray, Gary Moore, Roy Wood, uh, Birmingham Waller. <laughs> Uh, uh, I believe that's Keith Keith, Keith Airy, or that that I, is that Don Airy. I'm not sure about that one. I'll pass pass quickly through that. Um, he's uh, worked with Jim Capaldi. He worked at Abbey Studios. Uh, worked with Pete York. Hmm, we we know some of those names ourselves. You know, people. Those are drummers that I I know and still know. Uh, and. Um, He's worked with George Harrison, even worked with um, Paul McCartney. So he's got a notable uh, musical background. And when we listen to him in a couple of minutes from now, it won't surprise anybody because he's, he's, um, he's just got remarkable taste and uh, remarkable chops. And uh, so it doesn't surprise me at all that he has this wonderful, rich uh, background of, um, of interacting with fabulous musicians and playing uh, all kinds of different types of music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I love the way that Ian's playing those hi-hats at the end. I think we all do. It's just, oh, man. Starts with quarters, then builds it. and Oh, oh great. Yeah, for those of you just joining... Uh, us today at Rock 50 you just missed a great set <laughs> uh, we just played um, uh, some great songs from Deep Purple and we're featuring, uh, this is part of our drum segue, we're featuring Ian Pace today and you just heard uh, let me go through the songs that we just played, we played Highway Star Hush, Child in Time a great track um, that was of course made, that was from the Made in Japan album and uh I, I thought uh, the work uh, that Ian was doing on that was outstanding. There's so, there's so much intricacy and just so much taste. Uh, speaking, uh, fireball, smoke on the water, what can you say? Uh, so much finesse, so much uh, thought. Uh, to, for me, at least, he seems, he seems just like he knows exactly where to put it and how to put it, and, and that's what I think drumming's all about anyway. you got to know where to put it and put it in the right place. Uh, Ian Anderson Pace, born the 29th of June 1948, Nottingham, England. Uh, genres, hard rock, blues, rock, progressive rock. Musician, songwriter, producer, instruments, drums and percussion. Years active 1965 till present. And associated with Deep Purple, Green Bullfrog, Pace, Ashton and Lord, Whitesnake, Gary Moore, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, The Velvet Underground. Not bad, not too bad. Fucking shabby. <laughs> uh, we want to thank you and Pace for being such an incredible drummer and thank you for everything that you've given us over the years. And, of course, here at Rock 50, we wish you nothing but the very, very best of everything for the future. Uh, for the students who are listening today, um, uh, he's another guy. Listen to him. Uh, check him out. Uh, find out what you can. Uh, learn what you can from this uh, incredible drummer. And again, thank you, Ian, and uh, we really enjoyed playing that uh, segue for everybody today. Okay, um, we're going to move on uh, with something that's uh, a little, obviously, more solemn. Um, every year since 2011, <clears throat> 2001, sorry, uh, and not on 9-11, um, when the Twin Towers went down and the Pentagon got hit, and... Uh, and I believe it was Flight 93 went into the ground. Um, I don't mean to make that sound coarse, but um, anyway, we're talking about a very catastrophic event uh, that happened. 
And it was, uh, of course, the United States was attacked by a terrorist organisation that was led uh, at that time by uh, Osama bin Laden. And um, and uh, every year on this show, uh, for as long as I'll be alive, we'll always do a 9-11 show and we'll always dedicate uh, this music to those people who um, who are suffering still, who are still in the pain of it, um, and uh, we want to be able to remember it as something, as a, an absolute tragedy that happened uh, to New York and Washington, and uh, and those people on that so on that pl on that flight that went down. Um, it was a. Uh, <clears throat> oh, it's, it's hard to get through some of this stuff sometimes, you know. Even when I'm having a good day, it's a. Uh, um, Anyway, uh, it was a beautiful day in Manhattan um, that morning and uh, over 2,500 souls perished uh, when those towers came down and, uh, and it created just so much devastation for everybody. Um, for those who are still lost, suffering and in mourning, we at Rock 50 offer this rock dedication to you for the living may soulless find you and New York's finest uh, you'll never forgotten today, yesterday or in all the tomorrows to come. Um, we're going to play uh, just a few songs for you um, as a way of doing a 9-11 dedication. Here's some great music right back at you, okay, in your honour. All right, that's it. That, that was our 9-11 uh, uh, dedication today um, I'm going to go over the songs for you uh, In Your Honour Great track Foo Fighters All Along the Watchtower Great track Jimi Hendrix Tales of Brave Ulysses Cream Great track Moonlight Mile The Rolling Stones Great track Grace uh, Tony Aomi and Glenn Hughes Two wonderful people um, Wonderful gentlemen Wonderful musicians uh, times Like These, Foo Fighters, two incredible songs today from the Foo Fighters. Grace Under Pressure, uh, incredible song from uh, Albo. And of course, um, The Guys, The Beatles with uh, Blackbird, Paul McCartney singing. Um, as I, I had a, an art show, as you know, uh, Absence of Corners, and in one of the paintings I... I, I titled it We Focus, We Persevere and I think that's, that's what we do in the times like these and uh, we overcome we are challenged and we uh, we transcend and we try to do the best we can to work through whatever it is we need to work through and, uh, and um, so anyway uh, just so you know uh, just as a special notation um Tales of Bra Brave Ulysses was for the paramedics out there in New York City where I do a personal shout out to some of the guys there. Oh, anyway, okay, so we've done that and uh, of course we have one more song to dedicate to 9-11 but without that, I, before we start that, I'm going to just go down and say thank you today, Mike. I thought we had a great show today. Yeah, great show. Yeah, thanks. I want to thank Lisa. Lisa's not here in the studio today. I want to thank Jones. He died a year ago, but he's still here with us. Uh, I want to do a shout-out to Europe. Uh, stay strong, everyone that's listening. Uh, stay very safe, and God bless you. God bless New York's finest. Uh, and we end with uh, what we call Bram's song. Um, my wife and I, we lost uh, one of our children, um, um, some years ago now. He, and his name was Bram. Anyway, we uh, the only song that could give us any solace uh, at the time of his death was uh, this song, which I'm gonna, we're going to play, which is called Ness and Dorma. And I call it Bram's song, and I, I don't think Lu Lu Luciano Pavarotti would mind in the slightest. So uh, here's Ness and Dorma uh, by Luciano Pavarotti. <laughs> <laughs> 